Welcome to MusicMover.com, and today I want to talk about an old vintage keyboard called the Casio SK-1. Yep, the SK-1, the Casio SK-1. It came out in 1986. And it might not be what you think it is. You're probably expecting something grand and something crazy, but this is it. Now, why am I talking about this old, small, tiny keyboard? Well, like I said, it came out in 86 and it is basically just tiny. <laughs> but the reason I'm bringing this up I recently bought this on eBay because I just wanted to have it. It's retro. Will I make some music with it? Maybe I will, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's tiny. It's, it could be regarded as like, obviously not a professional keyboard. But what makes it cool is that it is one of the early uh, sampling keyboards. And as you can see right here, it says sampling keyboard. Now, don't get me wrong, the sampling time is like three seconds, I think. It's like very short. But it's just cool to have because people have actually used this tiny keyboard in professionally recorded music. Even Large Professor used this somehow, some way early, early, early on in his career. I don't know if, what for exactly, but he I remember um, it being mentioned. And think about being a kid, getting into music and getting this little keyboard in the 80s and you could sample with it. You can make beats with it. You can, you know, do simple things. It's not the greatest sounding keyboard on earth, but it's not bad. It has a line in, uh, so you, you know, it has a built-in mic to record samples, voice, whatever. And then it has a direct line in, so you can actually record samples into it as far as like from a record or something. I mean, granted it's a short sample time, but still, and then of course it has a mic input as well. Then it has an output, which is basically like headphones. But I mean, it is not horrible. It's just kind of cool and retro. Maybe I'll mess with it, you know? Um, it's very 80s, old school sound, and I'll show you that in a minute, just how it sounds exactly. But the whole point is, to this, is to say to not be afraid to dabble with vintage equipment no matter what it is, because it, it keeps creativity flowing. You know, if you're a producer or whatever you want to do, you know, messing with all kinds of equipment, d just don't be stuck in the box of making tracks or if you're especially into hip hop, R&B and electronic music, stuff like that. Don't be stuck where you're running virtual instruments in a computer all the time. Branch out, use vintage stuff. Try it out. You could get a lot of stuff cheap on eBay. Older keyboards from the 90s were great. They had great 808 sounds, 909 sounds, which is like the bass kick drum stuff. And, you know, you could find a lot of great sounds in old, old sense. Now, a lot of people have taken this SK-1 and it's become popular with what they call the circuit bending crowd. So basically what they do is they, they take the keyboard and they add switches and knobs and stuff to it and they they make different sounds with what the keyboard already has inside of it so they can make different synth sounds than it already has it's hard to explain it's just pretty incredible and a lot of people are starting to use it like that because they get all these crazy sounds out of it and it's it's pretty damn cool i would love to do something like that with it just to mess around with it so don't be afraid to branch out. Use vintage stuff. You even mics. Use vintage mics. They have great, great low. Not low, but they have great warm sounds to them. And they can make a recording sound incredible. I still know people who still use tape to record 24 track. And I'm not mad at that because it has such a warm sound. It sounds amazing. So do what you want to do. Be creative, even if it's just something from the 80s, a tiny little, what looks like a kid's toy. Don't be afraid. I'll show you some of the sounds now. 
So it has basic sounds, like piano. You know, it's very limited to the keys, so it's not the best sounding, but um, it has chords. It actually has some effects on it as far as like um, envelope select, uh, vibrato, things like that. So if you want to change the sound up a little bit, you can do that. It has trumpet, human, which everyone pretty much knows that by now. That's on all the old keyboards. Organ, brass, flute, synth, synth drums, jazz organ, and of course the sample. If you have a sample under there, to sample you just press this and hold it down for three seconds or so or something like that, and then it beeps when it's done, and uh, then. It, it'll store it in here, but when, once you turn the keyboard off, it doesn't keep it. So, I don't know. It's just cool. Something nice to have. And who knows? Maybe I'll mess with it. Do something with it.